Okay, I think we can get started. So, um, I'm still not 100% sure what I'm going to be drawing. Hello. Um, so, I didn't plan for this one. It's okay. Uh, let me see. So we can clear this, uh, at least. Um, I am probably going to be doing something a little bit OC-like. So let's, uh... Whoop. Grab this dude here. Yeah, I want to do something with... Uh, I've been working on this concept for a little while. I have wanted to do a magical boy series forever but i i can't ever stick with a comic so we'll see how this goes uh just a second okay so, um, okay, sorry, I got a weird reply on Twitch, uh, not Twitch, Twitter, they all sound the same. Anyway, uh, let's get rid of this. Where did it go? That, that's not the layer I copied. How dare you. Okay, well. Copy. Okay. That's gonna move over here for concept art. Uh, don't need that one. Okay. So, um, I would be working on one of my commissions tonight. Uh, that's actually what I want to do, but, uh, I never know what Twitch will allow, so I'm just not even going to try. Hold on a second. Okay. So, um, but we can draw something pretty with this guy. Let's see. That's fine. Oh, that's right. Um, I can do that. Um, yeah, so let's do a little bit of that to start with. Uh, I'll do uh, Pank Squid. Well, we'll do Pank Squid as a warm up. Uh, warm -up. Okay. So, um, I will be working on the uh, PNG tuber for uh, my friend Pank, who is also streaming later tonight. Uh, and they are a cute 
pink squid. Last I worked on this, uh, we were adding twofers to the mouth. A little twofers. Now, I would kind of like to make some adjustments to the eyes, but I think I'll do that another time. Uh, it's going to be a little too much right now. I do know that I need to draw cat ears, though, so let's get started on that. Let's see. That's going to have to go behind the bangs. Ears. So I think I'm going to make them similar to the ones that we have on the sides, but a little different. Uh, Pank needs cat ears because they are going to be streaming the cat game that everybody streams. Which is fun. Okay, let's see. So we're going to work on... So currently, uh, Pank has a pair of cat ears, but they are um, ones that they found online, uh, which are kind of lame, well, generic. We want something a little more special. But we don't want to be too out there with this, I think. And for funsies, uh, where is the... Trying to find the ruler that is making it mirror. Not that one. Where is it? Really? Oh, I didn't, uh, there it is. So we're gonna turn off the ruler for a second. Um, because in addition to the cat ears, I'm going to make... Hello! Hello, new. Uh, new person. Thank you for tuning in. Or whatever it is we do here. What? I... I turned that off. Where's the... Where's the damn roller? Oh. I was supposed to... Okay. Um... Only when editing target. There we go. Okay. Gay stuff. TM. And we'll give them a cute little uh, cat ear twitch. I think we can animate that in. Um, when they talk. Thank you, Ashy. Yes, pink with cat ears. They're going to be, uh, for the stray stream. So. Uh, now I can turn the ruler, the cooler <laughs> ruler back on. me need to close the head tilt you see and other assorted cat games yes i might actually make cat ears for mine too um because i would love to join pink uh playing st playing street stray
All layers. Okay. And here we go. Yeah, I'll have cat ears on mine too. So I don't know if we should remove pink squid ears when we uh, do the uh, cat. So, but that's up to y'all. Uh, I just draw the thing. So, I, I don't know, do you want them, like, furry, or do you want them to look more in line with your character? I think is the question. Because this character is not fluffy. He's slimy. A little squishy. Like, if this man... Yes, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, oh, gosh. I'm, uh, there was a, a, a Mode 7 picture that was like that, wasn't there? I don't know if uh, any of you guys know Mode 7 or Nitro Titan or uh, whatever he is going by now. Well, I mean, as you obviously know, Mode 7, because you found me on the same site as them. So, which is very much not a secret. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. So, last I saw, Mode is just making copious amounts of comics, and his art has gone absolutely insane. It's really nice, but it's no longer my thing, which is a little sad. And then we're also going to kind of take the thing off again. This ruler is the bane of me. Oh, um. I don't know if my uh, mic sensitivity is up enough. Let's try that. Okay, that's better. Slimy gooey kitty and keep kim kim tea kim tea years. Don't ever make it do. Don't ever make me do that again. Do do do. What was I doing? Ah, ruler. Same folder. Back to. Here we go. So, Pank, uh, I'm not sure if you were there, but um, we're going to be... I'm going to be adding a second cat ear on one side so that it twitches when you talk. Or when you blink, it's kind of like a blinking animation. Flicky ear, yes. Exactly. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to add a tail too. I wish I could animate it for you, that'd be cool. I don't know how to do that. It would be a lot. Hello, husband. Hello. Thank you for my drink. Do you want the rest of that rice from the Thai food? Um, that should be enough for two people. I split one container. Okay, well, then I'll just do half for me. Okay. Hi, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. I started my stream with no water. Like a dehydrated dumb bitch. He is, well. We got Thai food last night. I fucking love Thai, um, but there was a place near us that did Thai food and... Yeah, I, I know what you're using for it, I've seen it. Um, I'm not going off of what you have, I'm just going to make my own. I hope that's okay. Yeah, so we used to have a restaurant near us that did Thai food and burgers. Like, specifically Thai food and burgers, and... I, I... I have to say, I've never found a place that I thought would do both perfectly well. Uh, there were Thai-themed burgers there on the menu, one was made with uh, Thai, Thai sausage and ground beef. Um, but others were just standard burgers. Like they had bacon cheeseburger, mac and cheese burger, stuff like that. And then just regular ass Thai food. Um, and then Thai burgers. They were really good. Like they had no business being as good as they were. Um, but during the pandemic, they, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what happened. Um, but they moved to another location. They said they were going to open somewhere else and then they never did. And there's a Thai food place there now, which is good, but it's expensive. Oh, hello. Hello there. General Kenobi. Yeah, we are... I, I live in a very small town, so... It's lucky that we have Thai food places around here, but the city that I'm specifically living in is a college town, so... Um, of course we have Thai, we have two ramen places, we have, you know, multiple axe-throwing locations. So if I ever want to be a basic bitch, I've got, I've got my bases covered. Lewd ears. So, so lewd. So I think I would like to... Um, I don't know if you're okay with this, but I'd like to make them a little transparent. Uh, at least on one side, like through the, through the cat, or through the inside. So this should show up on the stream uh, if I do it this way, specifically. Nice. Yeah, there's a uh, there's a Chinese restaurant in my hometown that's been there for a very long time. Um, and as of yet, I have not been able to take my husband there. 
I mean, it's it's most it's mostly a takeout place, but Let's see. Okay. Yes. So it's very, it's, well, no, it's not difficult to see. I've, I've actually done it quite well, um, where there's a little bit of transparency uh, right through here, but it won't be super noticeable. And there's no uh, nothing special that Pink has to do to get it this way. Because when we go to color it like this, there you go. Oh, thank you. I try to be mesmerizing. Um, okay, so let me see. I'm probably going to use the same color gradient that I have for the, uh, whoops, too many layers. Goo? No, I'm not a goo boy. The goo boy was last week. Was that last week or the week before? Anyway, we drew a, go, uh, a goo boy on the stream. Uh, last week... No, last week we did the... Um, Yes, yes, uh, my transparency goo slime drawing circuits, which I also shared with the with the goo stream. Lemon demon? No, I've got generic Legend of Zelda playing in my on the background. Good old uh, royalty free video game music. I don't think I've ever heard a Lemon Demon song. Okay, let's see. Yeah, no, that's somebody else's music, not mine. There we go. A uh, little bit of a... There we go. Yeah, I have put. I'm slowly putting together a, a very long playlist of music that I will just be playing on a constant loop when I stream. Um, when I do art on Picardo. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah, when I do art on Picardo, I can play whatever I want. Um, and I do. Uh, I believe. Last time I did a stream on Picardo, I think I was playing... Oh my gosh. Hello, Snowflex. Anyway, uh, last time I did a Picardo stream, I think I just put on my playlist uh, i i just put on uh, a, a podcast and we listen to the chuck tingle podcast because i really wanted to uh, i actually put it back on today earlier uh, but i can't play that on twitch and plus i have to talk
Any experience drawing lizard girls? Um, girls specifically? Uh, some? I mean, I can draw m most things. I'm not terribly picky. I've drawn more lizard boys than girls. But they all have cloacas, right? Um, it's mostly by commission. Uh, I had one that was a really big piece of a, a, a human OC transforming into a basilisk. Um, and it was one of the last really big commissions I did for the furry community. Because um, it was... God, that, that thing was like $500. It's not raunchy to know about cloacas existing. Is it? Maybe it is. Anyway, so there's one of our ears. Uh, yeah, it's very similar to the, the one that we have down here. Uh, so that's what we're going to do with the other ear. I think we can merge these now. Twitch is run by prudes, it's true. Oh, um It's it's perfectly fine. I, I'm a little backed up on commissions right now. I have three that I need to do. Um, I was working on one of them earlier today, but I can't necessarily do it. Uh, on stream. Um, there's nothing really terrible about it. Uh, it's this Robo Goro piece uh, for one of my one of my bigger patrons. Uh, love you, Fizz. So. So, um, I was gonna do this on stream, but I'm. Uh, I'm not sure how Twitch feels about this kind of thing, so... I mean, there's no dick showing, but still. We're just beating him up a little bit. So we're gonna work on Pank's ears and tail, and then we're going to work on... Um, I, like I showed earlier, I have this little... Um, costume concept for a Magical Boy series. Oh, thank you, Nia. I can get started on your commission right tomorrow. Um, I'm still working on another... Like I said, I'm working on another one for um, somebody else. But uh, that will get taken care of tomorrow. I just don't typically do commissions on stream. Yes, I really like Magical Boys. Um, I don't think they're done enough. And whenever they are, they're usually done as... They're kind of used as a as a comic relief, aren't they? All the Magical Boy series I know are all comedies. I agree. Let more boys be magical. So uh, when I'm doing this one later, we will talk about the concept because I've been um, working on this in my head for quite some time. No, I didn't ask for you, Esh, but I do love you. Oh, I'm fully aware. No, I, I, I know. I just had other things I wanted to do. Let's see. But I really do need to work on this, so. So let's copy this. We're going to make a mini version so that I can refer to it when I'm doing the big one or the other ones. After dark stream. Yeah, the thing is, Twitch doesn't necessarily like when I do the lewd streams. Oh no, I really want to do it. I, I really want to do the Magical Boy series. 
Um, and I've been trying to do a comic for years. I really have been. But every time I end up going too far in the story in my head and then I get bored of it. Yes, I want it as serious as Sailor Moon, at least as serious as Cardcaptor. Um, that's what I want. And I also want it with characters that are in their fucking 20s. I am... dead... dead tired of following series where all the girls are in high school and it's creepy when I want to collect figures of them. Tuxedo Mask absolutely counts as a magical boy, but he is also 16. Oh wait, no, by the time he, by the time the series ends, he's, he's in college. Which is problematic in its own right. Because by the end of the series, he's in college and uh, Usagi is a freshman in high school. Season three, he's in college. Yeah, I know. But he's... Bunny's still a freshman in high school by the time... She's still 15. Uh, I mean, in the long run, a three-year age difference isn't that big, but not that. Okay, we're, get we're getting into weird parts of this stream. I don't want to... It's fine, they're reincarnated lovers, yeah. I... it's... That's the thing. That whole territory is a little fucky. So, I am actually also doing the reincarnated lovers thing, but all the boys are in college or, uh, or in the workforce. Um, in fact, the main character is going to be a salary man. Because I like salary men. It's just something about them. The culture of salary men. So I said in Kunzai, yes. They were not in the manga. Uh, not not like that. So I said in Kunzai, uh, the ram the romance was entirely made up for the anime, um, and so was the romance between um, between Mamoru and the plant alien dude from the first movie. Is that Sailor Moon the movie R? I think so. I had it on tape when I was a kid. Oh, also, hi Ke hi Kia. Uh I, I missed your I missed your thing. Sorry. Okay, let's see. Yeah, the Space Elves, um, which I think Pank is in the middle of that, uh, or ending that series right now. Um, oh no, are you, are, are you past that? Um, on the, uh, the, the, uh, Saturday, uh, Sunday morning cartoons, uh, stream that Pank does, um, they're watching Sailor Moon, so, uh, Last time I actually joined in, they were on the plant alien elves, but uh, I haven't seen since then. Space elf movie. Um, was it that was the one with the? They were totally gay, right? They had to be. Like there was absolutely no doubt. Sailor Moon R. Rated R for all the gay. It's 
trick is, these are stupid easy to make. Which means there's no excuse for it taking this long to do. I need more lesbian lesbians relationships. I Nia. Nia, there's millions. Utena exists. There's so many lesbians in 90s anime. I mean, I agree we need more. Gunsmith cat, yeah. Um, to a lesser extent, dirty pair, but that's 80s. All relationship. But then what is left for me, Nia? What is left for me if all the relationships are lesbians? Also, Zacharias, even even if uh, even if the dub did them a disservice, that wouldn't matter for the Space Elf series because that was entirely made up for the anime. I don't want to be a boy lesbian. No. Anyway, yeah, uh, even if you, even if you, um, even if you say that the, the dub did them a disservice, uh, the manga wouldn't have been better because there was no manga. Anyway, uh, yeah, no, I already said that. Uh, okay. But again, like, I'm not sure why the anime inserted so much male-on-male -male relationship when the manga didn't really have any. Hello! I am in lesbians with you. The L word. Lesbians? Likely the artists were very gay. I mean, that's possible. But it sounds more like all the, uh, you know, all the uh, the lesbian overtones were just replaced with Fujoshi. No head couples left. I mean, they even paired up some of the girls that really hadn't been paired up in the manga. Um, I don't remember. The, the romance, however brief, between um, uh, Haruka and... The fuck, the fuck is her name? I cannot remember Lita's Japanese name, sorry. Um, oh shit, it's gonna bother me. No, not Michiru. That's new. That's Neptune. Jupiter, I mean. I mean, you can certainly talk about it. It's it's there. Let's add a little shine inside the ear too. Very cute. Fin ears. Makoto, yes. That's what it was. I I always liked the name Lita better, but that's probably just because I grew up with the dub. And it was really weird going into the manga as a teenager uh, because I ended up 
Well, zoom out? Yeah. Now, question is, do we keep the lower ears? Yeah, uh, well, I mean, whose parents aren't canonically dead in anime? You're, you have a 50-50 chance of having dead parents in an anime. Do the ears look lopsided? I mean, they're going to look a little bit off because of the way the bangs are. Um, but they are perfectly symmetrical. Um, but it's okay if they look lopsided. Nothing has to be perfectly symmetrical anyway. Yeah, that's why. It's the bangs. Uh, question is... Like I said, do we include the ears? Where are the ears? Oh, here they are. Oh! Oh, I don't like it. No, I don't like it. No, it sucks. I can't. I can't. You have to keep both pairs of ears. I'm sorry. It, it's okay. We can just pretend these are whiskers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they're not ears, they're fins. Size difference. Um, I mean... Pank was using an inkling. Well, do you want me to do something about that? Do to space. Um, I mean, I can space them further apart. Let's see. You think you know what would... You know what? Um, we could always add another tentacle here to the bangs. shove a hot dog in them in the ears space them further apart and a little up so the right ear connects closer to where the left one cuts off okay uh let's see Moving them is going to be a little difficult. Uh, hold on. But we're happy with the colors, right? You are now. Anyway. Little apart. Uh, end up. Ooh. Freckles on their tips? We could do that. I'm actually gonna maybe move them down. Up, I think, up looked good. Yeah, I was gonna say, this looks... This looks a little more natural. Yes? Oh, I'm gonna have to move the flicky one, too. Oh, hold on. Both up and wider. I can't really move them up, that's the thing. Oops. Oops. 
see if I move them up well uh, like this I would just have to make some adjustments to the, the colors to make sure it fills in I'll move them back down okay Yeah, that looks that looks fine. I they're below the, the tentacles now, so I, I think that works. Let me move the flick. Oh uh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Anyway, yeah, so this is how I do this. And let's make a tail too. Um, I'll at least do the tail while uh, Pank is away. Um, and then they can come back and yell at me for the years again. <laughs> I'm kidding. crazy is I need to be able to hear myself talk so I am I'm actually streaming with one earbud in let's see oops not that Oh, my husband's off to go play with the mice. I can hear him. Oh wait, no fur. We're gonna make this also a slimy tail. And then we can give it a little bit of a flick. Botanical tail. I think that looks good. Ash, what do you think? I mean, I could make the tail more like a tentacle, but I'm not sure about that. Also, a reminder, if you're not already drinking some kind of liquid, please do so. Uh, let's see. Nobody say come. I'm just preempting that. I might have been watching too many Germany Mike's uh, streams. My mouth is so dry. Or just kidding. We don't slut shame. Okay. Oh, um, what's up? 
We're going back to the ears. I mean, it's because of the bangs, right? Behind one more of the tentacles. Um, unfortunately, I can't. Uh, but what I can do is I can add another tentacle in front. Yeah, that was one of the things that I suggested. Uh, was to put another tentacle in front of the... Right here. Let me see. So if I do it like this... No, no, I know what you're talking about. Honestly, I've been I've been thinking of adding another tentacle to Pank's bangs anyway. Like this. Like that? Wouldn't that be cute? Just one just one more tentacle. And I would actually end up erasing this line right here. Yes, it fixes the problem. No, so, no, I, I can't copy the exact lines from the tentacle behind it, because I'm going to show you why. Um, if I do that, it's going to look like... Like this. And it's a little too much for the bangs. Um... So, what I'm gonna do... You're just getting another tentacle. I kind of wanted to fill out the bangs a little more anyway. Hi. You have a mouse! Hello, mouse. I have Tio. It's a Tio. A Hello, Tio. Tio. Very cute. She's very scared, though. Oh, is she skittish? Yeah. She did not expect this when she got on my hand. Oh. But she's gonna get a Cheerio when she gets back. She's so silky. Look at how silky she is. Hello, Tico. I'm interrupting with a mouse because she's amazing. Yes, I know she's great. Bye bye. We have mice. We have three mice. Um, their names are Aiko, Tio, and Boo Poo. Um, I got to name Tio. We both named Deco. My husband named Boo Poo after a obscure character in a Dragonlance novel. And I love him for it. I do. Boo Poo is a half Manx mouse. Um and yes! I can't give them extra Cheerios. We, they actually mostly just get portions of Cheerio. I should do doodles of the mice. Um, I can try that. Anyway, Pank, you're getting an extra tentacle. Whether you add it to the rest of your avatars or not is not my problem. What, the extra tentacle or... Oh, the mice stream. The mice stream. Yeah, I like it. So, um, Tio, Aiko, and... Uh, oh, Aiko is spelled... Uh, this is important. It's spelled A Co. Like, like the anime. She jumps really high, but we had already had our past mice named after Spider Man's girlfriends, so we named her Aiko. Did I see? Uh, hold on. Just a tad shorter. But... But I like... 
like it. Um, hold on. All right, hold on. Fine. Oops. No, it's okay. No, no. It's... I just really like doing hair. We'll, we'll do two versions and we'll see which looks better. It's fine. But I think this will go really well. Copy, paste. Okay, on to, yes. Yes, please do that. Um, are, are you doing that in my Discord or your Discord? Silhouette. No, I, it's not going to break the silhouette too much. I, I know what you mean, though. Hold on, we're going to take the bangs off. Um, secretly, this is how weird thing looks without the bangs. Ah! You see this all the time. Kind of more femme, though. You never get to see the eyelashes, actually, on... So <laughs> don't zoom out on it. <laughs> yeah, you never get to see Pank's eyelashes. They're cute. Honestly, don't hate this. I, do you want me to style Pank's tentacles? more another time this is a look yeah i mean i can i can style them more to make them i can give i can give the squid uh different bangs another time just for bald pink need to redeem for allow for bang removal if you do that i have to clean up the the ears Yeah, no, I can do different bang styles. I'm never doing different hairstyles for Mateo, my my avatar. I'm never doing it. I guess I could give him a little tiny ponytail, but why would I? Anyway, uh, where was I? Yes, tentacle. I think you're right, though, and it, it needs to not break the silhouette so much.
Yeah, that looks way better. Oh, you're right. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. So, like I said, once we're done with Pank's ears and tail, uh, I will go back to drawing my boy. What is that? What is that? What layer are you on? This one. I'm so offended by stray lines. The ears could use no I yeah, I'm I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. In the meantime, uh tail, yes. What layer are you on? Yes. Yes, tail. Swish. Wanna bump bump. Okay. All right, so I will, fine, I'll get rid of the longer tentacle. Don't need it. Sorry. Yes. Yes, the, the new fangs, the new twofers are great. I'll, I'll check to make sure um, they show in all of the mounts that need to be. Baby shark mouth. What the hell is a baby shark mouth? A uh, just shark teeth? Oh, all pointy. Okay. Small but all pointies. Sorry, I thought you were referring to like the baby shark thing. Which, I mean, in the year of our Lord 2022, really. Uh, it's not going to be this. Uh this white. We're gonna lower that. Oop. Perfect. Oop. Nope, a little bit. There we go. To match all the other tentacles. No, no baby shark. Um, and then we're gonna Oops, that is not what I meant to pick. There we go. Oh, I forgot to do a little thing.
No, I, I've, I, I think I know what you mean, but yeah. There we go. There, what do you think? Extra tentacle? Looks better. Very good. Yeah, looks good with the flick, too. Oh, okay. Do you want me to just add it to the, the base bangs up here? Because I can just stick it straight on the bangs. Yeah, alright. Boink. Bangs... 2.0. Whoops. Sorry. Keypad. Eventually, I will find a different way to assign my... my, uh... I forgot the word. My emotes. I'll find a different way to assign my emotes than on my keypad. But for now, that works. Okay, so we have all that, and now we do the tail. Um, for this, I'm going to... Um, eventually. I don't even know if I have room on my desk for a stream deck. And the next big purchase is another monitor. Instead of the, the TV that I've got with my second monitor. Oops. Come on. Blink. Good enough. Very little desk space. I mean, my my microphone is also very little desk space, but you should see my desk. Two cans of soda. I mean, that's pretty small, I guess. Uh, I guess I could go on the pull-out drawer that my tablet is on. Anyway, that's, like I said, that's down the line. Yeah, I don't need that many buttons. But... I have other things I need to get. A desk is actually on the list. I bought this one for $10 on Craigslist. Oh, 
Also, if you heard clicking, that's my, um, my tablet. I am eventually going to animate Mateo's hands to respond when I tap the tablet keys and use my pen. Good mic in a stream deck. Yeah, I mean, my microphone is good. Uh, I still need to do some echo cancellation in my room. Um, my other room didn't echo very much because it was carpeted. Uh, but this room has a lot of empty space on the walls. But I have a bunch of tapestries my roommate left behind, so I'm just going to put them on the walls and that'll be fine. Probably muffle it. A tuber. Potatoes are very useful for streaming. I'm totally going to eat my curry when I get off of here. For Thai last night, I got Masaman curry. I fucking love Masaman curry. I usually make it at home. But sometimes... Actually, I think I'm out of the paste right now. So I couldn't even buy any if I... Or if I, I, I couldn't even make any if I wanted to. Riveting conversation, I know, guys. What will I make for dinner? It's fine. Damn it! Go. Go back. Go back. Okay. We should actually be done this fairly quickly. Um, off stream, I'm gonna have to go back and do more uh, emotions and expressions for Pank, uh, and also emotes for their streaming. Oops. Clicky, clicky. I like the clicky buttons. But my other one had a wheel. Which was a lot less noise. My other tablet, I mean. There we go. Okay. All right. We're back in.
I was wondering why I had a million Discord. No. Um, so they don't need to have a transformation. Uh, they don't need to have a transformation because Card Captor is a Magical Girl series, and uh, Sakura does not transform. All of her costumes are just made by Tomoko. And she dresses up in costumes before she does her Magical Girl thing. So it's not, it's not required for a Magical Girl or Magical Boy to have transformations. However, they usually have to have some kind of inexplicable item that grants them that power that they use. Uh, they usually have to have a little critter that follows them around telling them what to do. Um, not all have to, not all series have to have that though. Uh, I don't think mine's going to. Do you want two tails? I mean, if you have a cannon tail you're happy with already, I can just stop drawing. <laughs> Water time. I have to admit, though, I haven't actually read or watched that much of Full Metal Alchemist, so I can't say for sure if it's a Magical Boy series. But I did just pick up a weird find yesterday at a comic book store. It was a sneak peek volume of manga from 2005, uh, Viz's lineup of action and shoujo manga, and one of them was the first chapter of Full Metal Alchemist. So who knows? I'll poke around in it. That was a great find. I'm a big manga collector, um, and I, pick, I picked this up for five dollars yesterday. So, it's so 2005. I also found this old Tokyo Pop manga called Vassalord. And I remember seeing this on shelves when I was younger, and I really wanted it back then. And I kept picking, up, picking it up and putting it down, and not quite sure if I wanted to read it, because there was a hot dude on the cover. Uh, it was highly... It was definitely suggesting that the dudes were going to fuck. Or at least have a lot of sexual tension. And the main character was a cyborg vampire. It's extremely 2005. Yeah, half, tra half transparent pank is a little creepy. But in any case, I, I never ended up picking up that manga when I was younger. I'm not quite sure why. I just had other shit that I wanted to buy at the time. Um, but it was, you know, another one of those Tokyo Pop manga that was probably badly translated and just very fangirly. Um, anyway, I found that at the comic book store yesterday and had this just flood of deja vu. Being like, oh, it's that thing that childhood me never picked up. Anyway, I picked it up for also five dollars. It's bad.
It's like really bad. One of the dudes has a bowl cut. The cyborg vampire has a bowl cut and a rat tail ponytail. But I think the rat tail is also made of wires because he's a cyborg. And the other just other dude just has a cigarette hanging out of his mouth constantly. I don't think I ever actually see him holding it in his hand. It's just hanging out of his mouth on fire constantly. Lit. Lit is what I mean, not on fire. Anyway, it's really bad. Extremely 2005 is what it is. I did not like it. It's still going on my shelf. Because it's funny. Uh, here. Pink doesn't have to be half transparent. I can just, uh... That's the part I needed out of the way. got quiet. I mean, I assume people are just fascinated by what I'm doing, which is cool. I'm okay with that. Oh, no, 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 no. It's okay. Yay. Well, no, uh, Pank's, uh, Pank, you're starting a stream soon, right? Yeah, sorry I won't be able to join today. So, when Pank goes on their stream, I will probably go back to drawing the Magical Boy stuff. And if, uh, if you guys don't hang around, that's fine. Um, I'll be fine. I, <laughs> I, I didn't mean for that to sound as dejected as it was. Pank plans all their streams in advance. I'm the one that was like, oh, half an hour. I'm gonna stream right now. But I can't really schedule things just because of the way my life is. I either feel like streaming or I don't. Okay, this... Well, it definitely looks like a tentacle.
Okay. I'm also just really focused. I'm I'm trying to get better at talking on streams. I am getting better, I think. It's hard for me to listen to my own voice sometimes. I think everybody's like that though. Well, almost everybody. I think we are done just in time. Okay, we're done. Oh, right. No, we're not done. Spots. Okay. No, 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 I can do it now. It'll be, like, two minutes. It doesn't take long for me to do that. Let's do... did linear burn for the other ones, so we'll do that. Nope. No, I'm doing it right now. It's fine. It really won't take me that long. I want to get it out of the way so I don't forget. Like that? Yeah. Okay. So. We are not going to make the spots identical. Slime goo, yeah. Well, that'll be difficult. Like, you gotta understand, the reason why I, I, it's easy to make the, the, the character look like this is because um, all of the layers are opaque. But if I did a, if I did an avatar where the character is more transparent, uh, then all of the layers would be transparent too, which suddenly becomes a problem. But I do like a challenge.
Almost done. Yeah, squid freckles. There we go. Yes? Perfect. I like them. Hmm. Maybe I'll remove the big one here. Yeah. You have a challenge. Spots on the back side of the ear. Oh, like through here? Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Um, very lightly is how you would do it. See? See? Oops. Uh, I don't. I don't think I need a reference for that. Okay. Nice. Thank you. I'll send the uh, I'll send this version over to you. Um, oh, do you want spots on the tail too, or no? Mm, no, because it's supposed to be like the tentacles. Wait, yes. Oh, why am I making more work for myself? It's my fault. Tail requires spots to live. Sure. As soon as I'm done with the... Haven't you started streaming yet? Nope. I thought you were going to start at 8. 8.30? Life is full of surprises. Is it storming again? Life has many doors, Ed Boy.
And they don't have to be exact, because I'm gonna... Oops. Oh, I fucked up. This song just gets stuck in my head sometimes. Not a bad problem to have. Vibin. We vibin. There we go. I like it. See, that'll make it look more like the tail's twisting. I think this one will be the default. Oops, that's the blush. So Pank's avatar is ready to go, which means we are going to draw and talk about Magical Boys, unless Pank has anything else for me to do, said with resentment. Just kidding. I'll send it along. Anyway, LMAO. So, back to our little magical boy here. Um, I did draw him in his little, in his little cool biz outfit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like him because he's in his 20s. And he's not a 15-something with his life, his whole life ahead of him brimming with an ambition. I can't relate. I can't relate to these shonen protagonists anymore. <laughs> business casual and magical business. So, dead at 20! <laughs> no, it's okay, he's 22. Which is still kind of young, but I mean, it'll at least make him legal for all of the boys that we put him with. Because, by the way, we're also making polyamorous magical boys. Because I don't like it when you have to pick which one he ends up with. So he's just going to screw them all. Picking sucks. It's true. Why can't you just screw all seven? Just like in New Carnival. It's half the reason I play New Carnival. 
I'm a grizzled man of veteran. I'm a gri Fuck. I am a grizzled veteran of many wars. I have seen the world come and go. Unrecognizable. Well, you must be so old. I am. I'm 18. Did you mean the plot of Avatar? Elameo. I I don't like this uh, canvas size. I am I am changing my mind. Let's do three thousand by four thousand. Yeah, that's more like it. Come back here. You get over here, little whore. Okay. So let's see. I'm trying to figure out what to make him do. Well, let's just refine his costume a little bit. Don't make me get the clip and paste. Don't make me resize you. I'll stretch you out all over the place. So, but also I think that more protagonists need to be weak and powerless. They need to be weak little bitches that have to rely on everybody else. So, you guys know D&D? &D? What if the protagonist was the cleric? What's D and D? I'm not answering that because I know you're fucking with me. I'm tr I didn't know how to respond. Anyway, yes, among the many concepts of this series, one of them is, what if the cleric was the protagonist? So he's. Oh, and do it. Clerical Quintet. I mean, there's a D&D &D series about everything, so I'm sure it's been done. But. The point is. I don't see enough action series where the healer is the protagonist. Why does the cleric get so much hate? I don't know. It's because you're never there to heal people. Yes, healer hero. That's pretty much it. These legs are a little thick. I'm going to have to fix them later. Actually, I'm going to fix them. <laughs> I'm going to fix them now. <laughs> 
So, uh, I think I mentioned earlier, I'm doing the, you know, the classic reincarnated lovers kind of thing. Except it's seven of them. And they were all making out. Like, definitely. What's with the lag? Fuck off. Thank you. No, I, I don't like cleric either. I, I'm trying to think of other healer classes. But also, all of the... Um, they're all going to be knights of a sort. Uh, and they are all D&D &D classes. Essentially. Like, we're going to have one magical boy who's a bard. Uh, one who's a... Uh, like a fighter who fights with his fists. Uh, I'm going to have one that is a, uh, a rapier specialist. I mean, if you choose to interpret the way that you follow your gods in a different way than your book says, who's going to stop you? Um, but I talked this out, uh, with someone else, and, uh, I'm also going to have all of their elements based on different kinds of metals. Uh, except for our hero. Who, of course, has a magical crystal. You have to. What is... What is that? I don't know what that is, but you're setting it on fire, it looks like. I mean, yeah. You just have to have something to focus your powers on and, like, pray to. Spirit of grilled cheese sandwiches give me strength. I mean, yeah, you can do that. But anyway, this guy's power is entirely based on smoochin' dudes. Because, see, he is a, uh, a cleric at his base, but he has this particular ability where he can merge with any of his knights and become a stronger version of them. Looking good at smooch's dudes. Yes. I'm giving spoilers if I ever make this damn comic, but, you know, whatever. It's for the stream. So, what I want is to design an outfit that will change uh, when he merges with the other knights. Yeah, there's that too. Right. Like, what if your ideal is being a dick? You can still be a cleric of being dicks. The god of smooching dudes? Um, I mean, honestly, it's probably Zeus. If we're talking, like, specifically. Yeah. I don't think... I can only name, like, a handful of uh, figures in Greek mythology that Zeus has not put his dick in or attempted to.
true. I can't remember who his dude was. Give him a big old staff. Because I like the long ones. I'm not sure if he'll start out with a, a smaller one like the moon stick or not. If I end up making this series, it's going to be extremely referential, but at, at this point, I don't know if there, it's possible to make a Magical Girl series or a Magical Boy series uh, without it being referential in some way. I think it'll be interesting to see, you know, people who have lives outside of high school, you know, trying to be magical girls or boys or whatever. Because I never understood how, with all the shit they were doing, how on earth did the Sailor Scouts manage to make time for studying and passing classes? Like, at some point, do you just look at your life and you're like, Screw studying, I have magic. I think I would. And see, that's the thing. Like, And there's no way any of them would be able to afford rent after a while if they're still doing this. Um, so, I also think it's very impractical for them all to be living in different places. So they're all just going to get an apartment together at some point. Like, fuck it, split rent seven ways. Sleep in one big pile. It's fine. Lives in a New York flat. I mean, basically, that's going to be it. Should it be set in America? I mean, I'll, I'm. I don't know if I'm enough of a weeb to set something in Japan. And it's just going to be in Philadelphia, like everything else I draw. Magical boys in Philadelphia. Sure, why not? I mean, you can say no to America, but I'm not setting my magical boy stuff in, in Canada, so... <laughs> Canada isn't, I mean, you're technically correct. The best kind of correct. Oh wait, no, wait, wait. That hand doesn't work. I mean, I'm... I can't 
set something in a place that I've never been to. Or that I know nothing about. Also, he gets a tiny little shield, like this. Tiny shield. I like him. Okay, so that's our that's what we're gonna use as our base. Uh, I'm just gonna. I mean, yeah, I, I'll probably just have my sh my shit set in any town USA kind of thing. I mean, I could make it, like, vague Japan. Like, who's gonna correct me? Hardcore weebs. That's who's going to correct me. Anytown, US. Population. Population tire. Hydrate time. Okay. So this is our base, um, and this is what I do when I go through costume design and stuff like that. Hydrate those throats. Why are you gonna make everything dirty? So this, I'll be honest, I'm reusing a costume. Um, this is very heavily based on another uh, piece that I did um, for the Obey Me fandom, uh, which was, let me pull this guy up. It's actually one of my favorite pieces that I've done even outside of fandom stuff, just in general. Uh, some of you guys might have seen this one. Somebody else's bone. Horny jail. Horny jail for all of you. But you in particular. Pank, am I holding you up? Nah, okay. Where the fuck is my... It's not in my Obey Me folder. I think it's just in my portfolio. That's how much I like it, is that it, it's... It's just in my portfolio. Um, oh, here we go. So, this was a, a piece I did where um, they had a, a, a very strong Cinderella-based uh, event on, in Obey Me. Um, but the main character is very gender neutral, and I think they did it very well. Um, like, they never mentioned the character actually wearing a dress. Uh, it was just a very nice outfit. Um, and I thought, well, can I make something that's very gender neutral and also masculine? So I worked on, uh, this and the slippers are these Rococo style things, um, but you can't wear regular tights in them, I assume, because they'd be too slippery. And you just slip right out of those damn things. But I really liked this outfit. It's one of my favorite things that I've ever designed. Uh, so I am reusing it. And nobody can stop me. Slip right out. Okay. Did my... Did my stream... Oh, yeah, no, it worked. 
I didn't even know if I'd set an alert to the the Discord. I don't know. People are around. That's the important thing. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to be... Let me see. Um, I mean, this was the base that I used, so uh, we're going to do something similar to this. Let's see. There we go. Oop, pen's too small. There we go. So this is my sketch pencil that I use for almost everything. Gotta frame those boobles. Actually, that's not quite right. Costume design is a definitely a passion of mine. Um, but I get really anal about it, so if this ends up being annoying, I mean, we'll, we'll work on that. A little too much epaulette. This is going to have a cutout right here. Little brooch. Um, and then this kind of a, uh, what is this called? It starts with a C. It's the thing that... Ah. Anyway, um, and then I think he'll have kind of a pleated blouse underneath. remember that fucking word. It's similar to Ascot, but it's the thing that Edgeworth wears. No, not Cummerbund.
I'm not happy with this. Something about the shape is off. His torso is... Mm. No, that's fine. Yeah, it kind of goes like this. No, there's something up with this. I need to stop basing it off of my old design and make something new. The important thing is to... Damn it. New layer. Him waste. It needs to be grabbable. So, I want him in brocade armor, kind of. So, all of this is reinforced silk, almost. Silk and leather. What is wrong with this? There's something up. I think I need to work from the middle out. Yeah, that's the problem. I know this makes no sense to anybody else watching, but I, I assure you, there's a serious problem, and I'm working on fixing it. See, there it goes again. Yeah, it's, it's, something is not quite right with the design. I used to be super into Project Runway when I was like 17. It's not an anatomy thing, it's... This is specifically the the way that the figure itself... ...is... ...kind of shaped by the costume. So, I probably need to work from the silhouette inward.
Yeah, it's it's how it lays on the on the figure. Um, well, there's not so much draping because this is it's supposed to be a, it's kind of a corset. Believe in me who believes in you. Yeah, I'm working on it. So this will have the lacing around the back. Titty window. I mean, you have to have one. Ours is the drill of the I never saw that anime. Everybody was watching it at that point, and I watched everybody watching it, and I thought to myself, I'll pass. Like, I can't remember if that was when I was still kind of an elitist about anime. It could have been. No, I don't like it. Someone put graffiti in the girls' room in my high school that legit was believe in me that believes in you and your tampon will be the tampon that pierces the heavens. We only had like three weebs in my high school. I was one of them. Yeah, we didn't have many of the of any of those either. Uh, we didn't have uh, a GSA. We had nothing. We also had like no brown students. Like I think now that high school has black and brown students, and it's like that's new. <laughs> That's a recent development. <laughs> if we're doing this with the Blouse, though, do I want to do the same? Ah. No, I want something different. Okay. Alright, we're working on it. Yeah, I'm sure this is infuriating, but I'm sorry. Thank you. 
There we go. Well, I appreciate that. So yeah, we're gonna have, um, the blouse is kind of transparent. Uh, it's going to be part of the, I think it's the overshirt here uh, with the, let me see. Oh, is, wait, is my drawing pad thing like an ASMR thing? I, I didn't do that on purpose just then. Um, I guess I never thought of it as... There we go. True. That's neat. Well, I, I'm glad I can do that for you. Uh, let's see. Let's take in his waist a little bit on this side. Want that waist as grabbable as possible. draw him with bare arms first and then add the uh, sleeves later. Actually, I think his arms are too long. His legs are probably too long, too. I, I do this all the time. I didn't even shorten them, did I? Idiot. Bare arms, you whore.
There you go. Hey, it looks fine. Okay. So now we're going to. Well, I'm gonna. Uh, let me add in his legs real quick. I'm not going to give him a cod piece. I don't think I could. slut. What you got them legs for? Spreading. Whore. Bye-bye. Leg for days. Sorry if I ruined your stream, Pank. Last thing I want to do is be competition. Nice. Yeah, um... I have commissioned uh, part of... Uh, I am doing the Avatar partly for money and partly in exchange for a very, very specific project for my husband. Uh, he is a massive comic book collector and he has this connecting cover of, uh, I, I, I have to try and remember, I think, like, it's two of Vader down, uh, and there's, it's six, t uh, six covers in total, uh, Vader down, the Star Wars comics, um, I think one of them is Dr. Aphra, just a whole bunch of... Maybe there's a Han Solo in there? I can't remember. Han Solo is on there, but I don't remember if he's part of the covers. Uh, or if or if uh, one is the comic book. Anyway, uh, if that makes sense. But, so it's six connecting covers. So when you put them all together, it makes one very long picture. Um... We've had them displayed in our room for a while, but what, how we ended up displaying them was putting them in boards and bags and pinning, very carefully, pinning them to the wall and making sure that the pins didn't harm the comic. Um, and they stayed up on the wall there for a long time. But he's wanted a frame for them for a, a really long time, and I've been trying to find him a, a frame that would fit and no luck, because it's like 40 inches long, 43 something. And then only like 11 inches tall. <laughs> Something like that. Very custom. The point is my husband's going to love me. I'm totally his sugar daddy. He loves me. I think. No, he he does. He brought me he brought me water and he brought me mice. And he makes me dinner. He's actually my house my my house spouse. So I go to work. He takes care of the house.
Yes. He, he, he came in and brought water very early on in the stream. Because I texted him about five minutes into the stream. Please, I need water. I'm a thirsty bitch. Because I forgot to get mine. Oh my god, I'm gonna fall asleep to this music. I'm not changing it though, I fucking love this song. I was such a big fan of Yoshi's Island as a kid, even though I had barely ever played it, because the Super Nintendo was my brother's. I'm also just not very good at act and uh, at um, side scrollers. I'm not very good at them. But I I've ended up playing the fuck out of it. Um, now that it's on the Nintendo, uh, the, the Switch. For the the free the free stuff. One day I want to make a, con uh, a manga where it's like the old 90s, uh, 80s style, where they have gigantic bangs and very distinctive. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I know about Majora's Mask. Um, I'm also not very good at that one. Mostly because the time limits stress me the hell out. So I get five minutes into it, and I'm like, oh god, this is too much pressure, and then I give up. I want to go back to what makes a magical girl or a boy? What, what defines... A magical... Like, Maho Shoujo is, is a very definite genre unto itself. So what is the difference between that and stuff like... Yeah, you're right. Like, what is the difference between that and, like, Full Metal Alchemist? Um, I think part of it is... powers involved have to be to a limited few, and they have to be part of a team. St stylish costumes, yeah, it, it, I think costumes are definitely part of uh, Maha Shoujo, very much. Um, I mean, they're such an essential part that, like, even though uh, Sakura does not technically have a costume transformation, she still gets fancy costumes, and they had to, like, shoehorn them in by saying that her friend makes them. So, a transformation uh, is not... Well, you know what? Sakura does have a transformation, though. She has um, the transformation with her key. So, there is that. Even though it's not a costume transformation. So, some kind of transformation, I think, is, is essential to Magical Girls. I'm trying to think of a Magical Girl series that does not feature a transformation of some kind. I can't think of one.
weapons are very much not defined by the magical girl genre. It's like in Madoka Magica, you've got the girl with rifles, which is great. And then, oh, what's her name? Homura. It's just like, fuck this, I have a gun. She just brings a Glock to be a magical girl. <laughs> I lost my shit at that part. Um, some of them did have weapons. For instance, uh, Sailor Saturn's Glaive. They, yeah, most of them had magic wands. Um, Uranus had a sword. The Time Sword. Um... Arguably, the uh, Kaleidoscope Moon wand, Kaleido, Kaleido Moon Scope, could have been seen as a sword. You're obsessed with Uranus. She's a butch icon. I never really liked that they all had the same body type. Like, their heights were different, that was it. Like, they could have made Uranus a little more stocky. She was supposed to be more masculine. They all had the same boob size, too. Everyone had the same size boobs. Even Homura. Who was, what, 12? What was I doing? Oh, right. Yeah, no, they all had the same size boobs. We're gonna do sleeves now. So he's gonna have these little... Um, lace up cuffs like this. And the pleated sleeves are going to come out of here like this. Uh, it's going to be that kind with the real tight pleats. Very sharp. So yeah, weapons are not defined by the magical girl genre, uh, as we have seen. But the main character has to have some kind of magical weapon of some kind. Uh, although it doesn't have to be anything super special. Um, it can just be any kind of weapon. Um, because as we see in... Um, uh, Madoka Magica, there's nothing super special about her, her bow. They're just like, ah, oh, there's there's your weapon. And then they move on. So it's not like the uh the the clove rod the clove rod or the, the, the anything else like uh in Sailor Moon. I don't think I don't think her um, I don't think uh, 
Madoka's weapon even had a name. I don't think any of their weapons had names in uh, Madoka. Or the Puella Magi series. I didn't read any of the the other um because I know they had a lot of side story uh like light novels and but I didn't end up reading those I think I tried to read one when I was taking out a lot of uh, manga from the library. Um, there was a huge manga selection at the Houston Library in Texas, um, where I lived for some time. A year and a half. I lived there for a year and a half. Uh, and it, it was hell. But I love that library. Probably would not have survived if it weren't for the library. Anyway, that's another story. But they had all the Puella Mo uh, Madoka Magica uh, stuff there. Not just Madoka, but like the, the, the Joan of Arc series and stuff like that, or whatever it is. They're like, Joan of Arc was a magical girl. Yeah, okay. Well, I think we're going to do a little more of this and we're, then we're gonna knock off for the night. Um, it's getting late. The magic of Jesus. Jesus was a magical girl. See, that's why you have to define the parameters that make a magical girl, because where does it stop? Wouldn't Joe of Arc have to have a grim- Did you watch Madoka Magica? They're all grim. The girls are all liches. Like, I have said this before. The girls are liches. The, the, the soul egg is just their phylactery. Yo, I, I know she got burned at the stake. But I'm just saying a grim ending is not unusual for the Puella Magi series. Is this too many layers? I mean, if it is, I, I'm not sure I care, but... Yeah, I've just got... I have a playlist of just, uh... Yoshi, Animal Crossing, and, um... Oh yeah, no, it's, it's very expected.
Yeah, um... I mean, I guess I'll avoid spoilers then. I mean, unless you know what a lich is, and then I've already spoiled it. So I wasn't trying to draw the exact same thing that I had before. Um, I'm trying to refine this costume so that I have something that I can probably draw easier. But I don't think I did that here. I like how complex it is. It's, it's regal. It's very nice, but... You know, if it probably has to be a little more. Simplified. Oh well. I mean, could I take that off? I could just add that back on when he has a more... Yes, very printly. But I could just have it like this. That's not so bad. Yeah, he can have, like, a longer one when he's merged with one of the other knights. But this looks fine. Yeah. Yeah, um, Madoka Magica is one of those series that takes the magical girl concept and uh, breaks it down to its bare elements and then was like, what if it was more fucked up? And since then, a lot of other things have done that. So it's not a... I don't even know if it was a new concept then. In any case.
yeah? Is Death Note map? No. No, Death Note is not a magical girl, uh, magical boy series. Um, he is. Okay, I think that a magical girl or boy series has to involve the main character being special and magic somehow. Um, Light was not particularly special. He just happened to pick up the Death Note. And I'll be honest, there have been other more interesting owners of the Death Note since. Uh, they published a, a, a book of short stories and there were some really interesting ones. Um, that's part of my collection. Yeah. Yeah, Light isn't even the most interesting owner of the Death Note. And I, I suppose the same, you know, the magical item could, could also be said for um, Sakura, but... She is special in in that she can wield the the the, the claw thingy, the bird bird face thing, and then she ends up making it her own, and the the, the cards all become hers too. So I think um, part of being a magical girl or boy is that you have to be someone particular. Now, I mean, Madoka Magica also has the same problem where anybody can be a magical girl. Um, although not everyone can see uh, Kyubei. And you have to be able to see Kyubei in order to make a contract with him uh, and become a magical girl. So again, it's something about you has to be special enough to actually make you a magical girl or boy. And that's part of the reason why these series are so popular, is because the self-insert ideal of what if I was that special person? People, kids love that. You know, that's why so many, I, I'm sure, I know, there were thousands of uh, Sailor Moon OCs back in the day. And to this day, I'm sure there are. I had one. Mine was a dude, and that was before I found out that dudes aren't allowed to be Sailor Scouts. Which... Fuck you. The creator has actually specifically said that boys cannot be Sailor Scouts. They can't be Senshi. That's why Tuxedo Mask actually has like little to no power. Because he's not a Senshi. Let dudes be magical. I agree. But I think that came up because of the Sailor Starlights. No, I know. No, she is female. Um, and yet the Sailor Starlights are definitely male when they want to be. But then they just they're, they're actually girls, is the whole thing. Yeah. Well, I getcha. And that, that is the way it looked, though. Um, oops. Cool. 
gender fluid. Yeah, but again, I, according to the author, they are specifically female. They're not gender fluid. They're just girls. Because only girls can be Sailor Senshi. Obviously bugs me. Which is part of the reason I'm making this. I was actually very annoyed. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, gender locking is dumb in anything. Video games, mm, general stories. But sometimes it works out really well for the storytelling. Um, for instance, the character in uh, the Supergirl TV series who is transgender, um, and the reason hers works is because on her planet uh only girls quote unquote females are able to have psychokinetic uh psychokinetic power i think um but she has that power which in a way quote unquote proved that she was a girl And it can't. It, it was a plot point because uh, I believe her sister uh, did not actually have that power, and she did. Yet yeah, when it's part of a trans narrative, it's very fun. Like, oh, only girls can do this, but you can do it, so you're a girl. Right. No, that's fun. And I'm thinking of doing that with this character, honestly. Um, like, it, it could be that he was female at one point, but had these dreams that he used to be a prince, and was like, oh wait, maybe that's who I am, and then... I don't know. Yes. Regardless. Oh, um, it's an idea. I've been flirting with it. We'll see. I just need to stop making all of my characters trans dudes. There aren't enough. Like, you, you, you see that narrative with, um with trans girls a lot, which is fine. But I want more for the dudes. Anyway. 
I never know what to do with this fucking staff. I think that's the last part we're gonna do, and then we're gonna call it quits for tonight. Uh, maybe I'll do some work on this tomorrow. Who knows? Well, see, that's... I mean, I think that's kind of the opposite of that that uh, that story point, though, isn't it? Like the the gender affirming part isn't there. Not saying your story is bad. I'm just asking. Yeah, like just now? Yeah. Like the affirmation isn't necessarily there. Which becomes a little bit of a problem. designing weapons. Clothes, yes. Weapons, no. No. Fuck. Am I going to reuse the lantern thing again? I mean, I liked the the lantern idea from my last comic attempt, which I never got to do anything with because I can't keep up with shit like that. But... This thing also has to transform into other weapons, so...
Yes, it... Right, it, it transforms uh, when he merges with the other knights. It looks a little plain. Yes. Well, so he doesn't merge with them so much as borrows their power. To do that, he has to smooch them. So he does he does smooch the other dudes. All of them. Let me see. I like that. Uh, let's see. So, uh, I mentioned earlier in the stream, but each of the knights is going to be essentially a D&D &D class. Um, so, so far I've uh, been designing uh, one who is a uh, rapier specialist, uh, one who is a, uh, a bard, uh, a druid, uh, a wizard, druid and wizard separate. Um, and um, what's the other one? Uh, I want one that has like a fist based weapon. Um, and then there's going to be a paladin with a sword, or I'm sorry, uh, with a, uh, a shield and a lance. Yes, uh, close to a monk. Or just general fighter class. So, uh, when he merges with each of them, he will, uh, his, his armor and his weapon will change. Uh, so for instance, uh, when he, you know, the staff might turn into a lance, uh, or something like that. Or a pair of gauntlets for the monk. So, anyway, I really like him. Uh, I think I've done a little bit to refine his costume. We actually haven't changed much, but this was a little bit busy before. Um, and now we're, we're kind of trying to work it down a little bit. Um, I do like this little, I, I've been putting this little sunburst uh, motif on a lot of things. Never had, I don't know, a thing to keep doing. So, we'll work on it. I like him. So anyway, oh, I forgot to draw his little shield.
It'll just be floating. It's fine. Anyway. So, I'm glad you all joined me. Uh... I will do more like this another time. Uh, tomorrow I might have to just work on commissions, so I might be here, I might not be. Uh, as usual, I think I have all my links on my, my Twitch page. Uh, if you are part of my Discord, then go, go bother me. So, thank you for stopping in. It has been three hours. Thank you. Bye.